We have to go now. I don't have time for this. Where are we going? I want to know where we're going. You haven't told me where we're headed. Hey, hey, isn't that the old crematorium? I, I can't talk about this right now. I can't explain it. Let's just go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. This is some kind of prank, Robert. You have another thing coming entirely. Why are we here? Be far now. Robert, why did you take me here? We're almost there. Wait, Shh. we're here. We're here. This place gives me the creeps. Why are we here? I want to go home. said, the lady said this is the only way I can stop. What are you talking about? If I sacrifice the one I care about, the dead can finally rest. Robert, stop it. Just accept it! <laughs> no! I'm so sorry, Liz. Uh, please, no! I'm so sorry. Yes. At this point, we're going to move on to the section that will pertain to what to do with the deceased's body. To my grandchildren, you are my life's purpose, my shining lights. To Nancy and Glenn, I leave my life savings, which is for each $45,000. I'd like to make a note that this only becomes pertinent when you come of age, and since you're both 18, this has not yet been legally enacted. Uh, Glenn, you will inherit my wine and bourbon collection, as well as shares in the family vineyard. Nancy, you'll receive full rights to the house. Upon the reading of this will, for reasons that are solely my own, I request to have my body interred in flame, reduced to ashes, and scattered into the wind on the coast. This is my final wish. These are the final wishes. I'd advise starting with the last part, get the paperwork out of the way, you know, deal with the hassle first. Might help in a hard time like this. So that should be that. If you just sign off on this paperwork here, we'll have the body cremated and the ashes delivered to you in just a few days. Great, thank you very much. Oh, um, you know, you're entitled to a discount on this transaction, technically, since you've previously done business with us before. That was 13 years ago. Still, if you've used our service for more than one family member, <laughs> in your case three, then you're entitled to a 25% discount on this commission. So it's kind of like a buy one, get one free scenario? Pretty much. I don't 
don't like this place. Most people don't. It feels creepy. All these places feel creepy. Not like this place. I know what you mean. Being here today, it's like being here 13 years ago with mom and dad. I don't want to return to this place, no matter what happens to either of us. Neither do I. Creeps. I mean, I've never seen you do it. Seniority. Get it done. It's a good thing I didn't bring my beer, I guess. Yeah, like you're such a goody-goody, Nancy. Hey, I could totally get beer okay. for my dad. Whatever, dude. <laughs> it's like not even a question. Hey Glenn, it's me, Nancy. I'll be home kind of late because I'm on a picnic with Ryan and Elsie, so don't be alarmed if you hear someone coming in in the middle of the night. Okay, bye! Hello? Nancy? Are you home?
grandma? I've missed you. Not real. You're not real. Crazy. I'm seeing things. What's wrong? The fire? It doesn't matter. I am here because there's something I have to tell you. What is it? Crematorium. They didn't burn my body. I'm in the creek. Waiting. There's a curse. Send the curse. Otherwise, maybe more people will die. What do I do? Gwen? 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 Gwen, are you home? Gwen, where are you? Gwen? What are you doing? I saw her. Saw who? I saw Grandma. I, I saw something too. Come inside. We need to talk. Elsie and Ryan and on the hill it went silent and there was a body I couldn't tell who and and it burst into flames it was horrible I don't know what it means but I saw it well I know what I saw did she did this vision say anything do anything vision well yes no one saw the burning body it wasn't real and only you saw grandma suppose you're correct did she say anything? Do anything? No. She just kind of stood there. And then she left. Yes? Uh, I'm from the... Uh, the crematorium. Yes. Are, are those the ashes? Uh, yes. Is there paperwork that needs to be signed, or... Uh, nope. Just take them. I just take them? Like I grab the box and we're done? Uh, pretty much. Excuse me, I have a question. Uh, how can I help you? How do you burn the bodies? Excuse me? Can you walk me through the process? Well, uh, we take the bodies and we have this big furnace and, and we light it up and... And you take the ashes and put them in a container and bring them to the person who needs them? Simple as that. How many bodies do you get per day? Uh... Hard to say. Plenty, though. Because, you know, when I was at the crematorium, there weren't that many workers. You'd need a lot of workers to manage that many bodies, wouldn't you? Of course. We'll uh, take it. Thank you. We need to go to the crematorium and find out for ourselves. What are you doing? The bridge is right there. I know another way. It's faster. I s don't understand why you didn't just cross the bridge like a normal person. It's quicker. We're taking a back route. Nancy, just stop. Come on, Nancy. Where are we going? Just be quiet. Wait, it's fine. This is this way. I know where we're going. Where are we going? Come on. Glenn, stop. Where are we going? Glenn. Here. We have to climb up this big muddy hill to get to the front of the crematorium? 
What's the big idea, Glenn? Shh. coming from the crematorium. We have to get out of here now. Glenn, what are you doing? I'm sorry, Nancy. Sorry about what? It's a curse. She told me. Who? Grandma. Glenn, you're, you're scaring me. She told me. The night that you went away, Grandma, she came to me and she told me I had to kill someone. Someone close, it was the only way. The only way I could break the curse. <laughs> 